Look at this beauty. Wow, Steve found this polyphemus moth caterpillar yesterday. And what we're looking at is American plum. And polyphemus moths love plants in the rose family, many others as well, but definitely the rose family. And American plum is in rosaceae. Look how it works. It's so, 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 so cool to know you can plant these plants and the moths that want them will use them and then the cycle will repeat. So Luna moth caterpillars are very similar but they have some slightly different patterning on their side and from what I can see they tend to often have a green head and the polyphemus stays brown. So look at this. So this is a big silk moth caterpillar. These are the ones that are often so impacted. I mean, really, it's many. It's fireflies, it's moths by outside lighting. And so we just don't do it here. I know it's charming. You can string up those cool lights, but if you do, turn them off then before you go to bed because they definitely trap these beautiful insects that need the dark night skies and then they can't make more and then that's that all for lighting and really if you don't put the lighting up you're going to have fireflies if you're within range and there's a lot of this country within range for fireflies and if you don't have fireflies, you have the stars or the moon. So I've been a little concerned about these beautiful moths for a while because there is a giant security light across the street at one of our neighbors. And I'm sure it's impacting populations, but I think we have a big enough tree blocking it uh, from us. So we get to just live in wonder that this moth stayed here, didn't get attracted and trapped by that light, was able to mate and lay eggs. Now this is the only one we've seen on this plant. Maybe there's more, but I can't get enough of looking at this caterpillar. I know Steve can't either. I'm trying to get this to focus in. Here we go, look at it. And you can see the little pegs left from where that caterpillar already ate the leaf. So if you remember, it was a year or two ago, we found polyphemus moth cocoons, what we thought, on our hazelnut. And I'm not familiar enough with the cocoons of Luna and polyphemus to say for sure, but it certainly seemed more likely to be polyphemus because they love to use plants in the birch family also, which is Betulaceae, which includes hazelnuts. So this one will eventually get to cocoon stage and then probably over winter in the cocoon. I'm not sure how many broods they have here. I know further south they can have more than one. So maybe here, but if not, maybe we'll find this. So here you go. Check out polyphemus moths and their host plants and see if you can get some to find the plants at your place. And then also just be a big spokesperson for our dark skies. It helps the birds too. It helps more things than I think we're even starting to understand. So go dark skies. Go silk mods!